Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to demonstrate my final project that is Secure Electronic Health Records. So Electronic Health Record is a lifetime record of a patient's health history. These records can be accessible by the medical team by giving permissions for optimal care. However, current, current HR systems suffer from centralization, security issues, lack of interoperability which leads to inefficiency and compromise patient privacy. So to address these challenges, we have developed this app using Ethereum blockchain for decentralization and security, Metamask for blockchain interactions and Ganache for rapid development. We have also used IPFS for decentralization file storage system that which ensures data integrity and security. And also we have used smart contracts using Solidity for managing user permissions and data transactions. So uh, let me uh, start my project demonstrations so we have a home page this is the home page uh, this is the about us page and uh, uh, register page so this project is used by three types of uh, person that is doctor patient and diagnostic so let's start from uh, doctor registrations so yeah, here you have to uh, give your wallet public address so I have already created the wallets in my metamask so I can directly copy I'll create a doctor name as mine. Okay, hospital name. Let's give Hinduja. Location Mahim. And I'll give my date of birth. Gender. Email ID. HH number. HH number is a unique number which is uh, required for registration because this is the only number which. Uh, with the help of you, we are going to log in. So uh, this number is six digit. Is about I'll give six two eight nine zero eight two one. Okay. So this number we have to remember while logging also. Specializations I will select. Uh, uh, let's say dermatology. Okay. Department, consultancy, designation doctor, work experience five years, and I'll give my password. Then there is con confirm password also and I'll register. So here you can see metamask pop-up has come I and mean, I have to confirm the transactions. Okay, so registration is successful. So let's register patient also. I'll I will do the same thing. I will copy the patient address which, which I have already created in my metamask wallet. Okay, copy it successfully. Patient name I will give as Tanmay. Okay, gender, blood group, A positive, home address, Mumbai, HS number 52, email ID. Okay, let's register. So here you can see patients pop up has come and I have to confirm the transition. Now diagnosis registration of the remaining. Let's copy the wallet address. I will give uh, my diagnosis center name as like apex diagnosis uh, Hinduja location my apex diagnostic HH number again you have to give and also uh, in all the forms which I have shown all the three forms the proper um, validations are there Let's register. 
ओके कंफर्म तो फाइनली और आर रजिस्ट्रेशन इज कंप्लीटेड लेट्स लॉग इन लॉग इन फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ पेशेंट सो पेशेंट हैज टू गिव देयर रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर आई रिमेंबर द पेशेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर वाज ओके 9494 ओके करेक्ट आई लॉग इन सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव एंटर इनटू द पेशेंट्स डैशबोर्ड दिस इज द पेशेंट नेम दिस इज द व्यू प्रोफाइल बटन व्हिच डिस्प्लेस ऑल द पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशंस and uh, here is a view record so right now you can see that it is empty because we haven't uploaded any of the uh, records till now so for example tanmay pradhan visiting first time so he need to upload his past records from other hospitals whatever uh, problem he has so he can just have the upload past records button and he can upload the all the past records whichever he wants i will choose file i'll okay now i'll click on submit again the pop up will come or uh, you have to accept the transaction and uh, and the file has been uploaded through ipfs and you can uh, view record here you can see uh, with the proper time stamp and you can view your uh, viewer records see the report has been visible then i will click on back and uh, grant permission button to doctor so here i have to give the hs number of the doctor which uh, i am going to consult so i need to know the hs number uh, before giving ss so the doctor hs number was 9028 and i will give ss and i have to accept the transaction so now a uh, patient's uh, job is over now uh, let's move to doctor part now i have given the ss and also i have uploaded my past record so everything is sorted from the patient side now we'll log in doctor you can see uh, doctor's name is visible and uh, here is your view profile button uh, in which all the personal information of the doctor is visible and uh, it is a view patient list so in view patient list you can see the patients who have give the ss uh, their names are visible so right now only one patient has given the ss uh, that is tanmay pradhan so it is visible and you can view so after viewing option you can see the uh, specific patients information all the personal details as well as view record options uh, prescription consultancy and close button so i will view record first if the if for example if a patient is coming to me so i will view his record uh, what are the past history is i can view his past report okay so like for the for example the patient has something uh, related to chest problem so i can view his past records and i'll create a consultancy report so in consultancy report i have to give the patient's name that was tanmay pradhan and i have to give my wallet address that is if i'm a doctor i have to give my wallet address i can copy from here i can select gender diagnosis so the patient must have diagnosis you like chest pain having some problem in chest so i will prescribe him to do x ray so i have prescribe him to do x ray and report to me again so now the record has been uh, created through smart contract and now the doctor job job is over now we will move to diagnostic part now we log in from diagnostic i think it was so this is the diagnostic dashboard a uh, view profile is also there and uh, create report now the patient which have come to the diagnostic center uh, i have to create the final report doctor name was uh, pradhan patient name was tanmay age was around 18 
gender blood group and i have to give uh, both of the wallet address uh, it is why necessary to give the uh, their wallet address because it is going to store in this ipfs and that records can be visible to both of them so that that's why I, we have to give the uh, wallet address patient's wallet address so that they can view from their side so that's why we have uh, added this uh, field so I, I will copy the wallet address of the patient as well as the diagnostic center wallet address and I will upload the final report which is the x-ray report right so this is the two option that is create record and upload report button so create record will create just a record in the smart contract and upload report will be uploading the uh, file in the IPFS so this is the file which I want to store in the IPFS so that can be uh, visible to doctor as well as the patient so I will uh, click on upload report button I will verify the transaction and uh, it has been uh, stored in the IPFS now the diagnostics can, cannot view the record because it is not necessary for the diagnostic center uh, diagnostic center job is to just create the final report that's it so now I will do another uh, doctor login I'll view and view record here you can see uh, the report uh, which the diagnostic center uploaded are uh, present here you can see the timestamp and record number 2 and I can view the x-ray report here you can see yeah so that that was it just. and if I want to create another consultancy report I can uh, do the consultancy report like the patient uh, have tuberculosis or something like that uh, reviewing the x-ray report so that is a few of the story. So uh, this is this was all about our project. And uh, after my prescription consultancy is over from the patient, I can just remove it so that the permission will be get revoked automatically. And uh, yeah, that's it. You can see uh, the permission has been revoked. And uh, uh, that was all about our project. Uh, hope you liked it. And if you have any doubt, you can uh, comment in the below the video and uh, I will reply to it and also I have give the github repository link in the description uh, do check out thank you